Hey, what's up, everybody? Clayton Jennings here. I'm just hanging out, man, and I'm reading uh, something that I encourage all of you to read, too. First off, read the Bible before you read anything. It's been most of your time meditating on that, but if you need something to supplement your time uh, with the Lord, I got a great book for you, and most of you already probably know about it. It's an old book. It's called The Imitation of Christ. I'd heard about it, but I did a Bible study, a small Bible study with the band members uh, for King & Country, and they kind of turned me on to it and told me how they were using it, and I can't get enough of it now, and I want to read to you a part of it, and then I want to explain to you why I read it to you. Check this out. There's a portion of this book, and it says this, uh, and it's old English, right? It says, the highest and most profitable lesson is this, when a man truly knows and judges lowly of himself. To account nothing of oneself and to think always kindly and highly of others, this is great and perfect wisdom. It says, even shouldest thou see thy neighbor sin openly or grievously, yet thou oughtest not to reckon thyself better than he, for thou knowest not how long thou shalt keep thine own integrity. All of us are weak and frail. Hold thou no man more frail than thyself. I love that. And here's why I love it. I think as a body of Christ or just people in general, I think that the best thing that we could ever do is, is lift each other up, love each other. I'm no better than you. You're no better than me. We're on this together. And by the grace of God, that's the only way we've accomplished whatever we've accomplished or achieved whatever we've achieved. And I think a lot of times people will say, oh, they've done more than me, or that person's more successful in this venture, or even on social media, that person gets more likes, or that person has more followers, or, or whatever it may be. And the best thing we could ever do is just start looking at each other as complete equals. I love the fact that it says this, all of us are weak and frail. Hold thou no man more frail than thyself. At the end of the day, and, and I'm, I want God to get me to that point too, where we look in the mirror and we say, man, um, I'm no better than anybody else. And I need you every single day, God, and I need your grace. And if it's not for your grace, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. And I don't know where I'm going to be tomorrow. But what I do know is that I love you and I need you. And that guy walking down the street, I don't care if he's the president or just the town peasant. I love him just the same. I'm going to treat him with just as much respect because he's God's creation too. And when somebody messes up or slips up and talks about that and their sin, don't hold them uh, open, openly as a grievous thing, but understand that, hey, you're flawed too. And if your stuff was put out there too, it wouldn't be something you would enjoy either. So it's something that I, I know you've slipped up or I know you messed up or I might have heard this or seen this, but I still love you. Uh, I'm still there for you. I'm in the same boat as you. And as a body, I think as a body of Christ, as believers, it's a literally a family. Families should never beat each other up. Uh, families should hold each other up, be there for each other, love each other, and constantly remind each other of the grace of God and the love of God that surpasses all things. Um, I'm reminded, man, of, of there was a guy, I worked at a TV station for a while, and there was a guy there. He was like the most well-known guy in that city. Uh, he was a famous person there, and um, he'd been there for years. And I remember I'd be out in the street with him, a few years ago shooting stuff or whatever and people would come up to him and oh I, you know hey 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 and I won't t say his name but they would oh hey hey and every single time he would act like whoever it was was the most important person in the world and shake their hand and look him in the eye and introduce himself and say his name everybody knew whose name was but he was just it was like humility just poured from him and I remember thinking like wow this guy's humble and it made me drawn to him even more but I think uh, the easiest way to get yourself to a point of humility is to remind yourself this God knows everything about you he knows all your flaws all your slip-ups he knows what you thought about five minutes ago and he knows what you did what you're gonna do in ten minutes from now and if God knows all of that how could we ever be prideful people because he knows all of our flaws uh, humility is easier to accomplish the more you lift God up in God's Word and the more that you put other people ahead of yourself and that you put them up and you're willing to lower yourself to meet their needs. That's a hard thing to do. I want to get there myself and I pray that God continues to help me get there. I love that Paul in the New Testament says that all he could boast on and all he boasted on was the cross. Paul was super accomplished and his faith spoke for itself and 
Paul could have bragged on a lot of things. He's, he was the great apostle. I mean, that day and age, he was the great evangelist. But he said, all I can boast on is the cross. And I think if, if as people, if we remind ourselves that if it's not for the cross work of Jesus Christ, we would have no hope. We would have no future. Anything that we do wouldn't matter. That's the place we need to get to. We say, I could boast on these things, and they, they're not lasting things. But the greatest thing I could ever boast on is the cross of Jesus Christ, where God literally embodied this right here. And, and Jesus said, I'm willing to become the least of these uh, because I love you. I'm willing to be born in the worst place in a stall and be laid in a manger. Uh, I'm willing to be ridiculed by men. I'm willing to be led to a cross. I'm willing to take your lashes and your beatings when I've done nothing. But I love you enough to cover up your sins. And he went to that cross for us. Nobody's ever done that for me except for Jesus. If he did that for me, and I know how messed up I am, how flawed I am, and I know how much I lack, but I also know that God's grace covers everything. And I know the best thing I could ever do is just brag on the cross and brag on Jesus. And when you look at the cross, you see the greatest example of love for all people. And then you say, if Jesus loved me, when I was that broken, I don't have any excuse not to love other people and their brokenness and their sorrow and their slip ups and mess ups. I have no excuse. At the end of the day, it's all love. But love can be demonstrated effectively and easily when you reach a point of humility. And that's what we should all strive to be. Humble braggers on the cross and the work that Jesus did there for you and for me. I love you all, and uh, let's try to get there together, continually lifting other people up, focusing on the cross, and remembering this, that all of us are weak and frail, and that we should hold no man more frail than ourselves. And when we do that, that looks like encouragement to others. And when people are encouraged, the body grows, Christ is lifted high, and he gets the glory, and then change occurs, and that can happen with you and me. This is a long video. This is kind of a chill video. But this is awesome. Get the book, uh, The Imitation of Christ. You can get it online. It's pretty awesome. Um, and for uh, for King of the Country, like I said at the beginning, if you've never checked out their music, you'll love it. Go check that out as well. God bless you all. Hope you're having a late night. Those of you who are up are having a great night on the late night. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.